สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone My name is Maggie and this is another video of practicing s e p a k Chakra Rose Spike First of all just do a simple warm up In this video I will show you how I do it and I have some tips that I would like to share with you guys The technique is pretty simple The main thing is about building up the force to lift up your body by swing your arms, your body, kick your left leg forward and up. Try to remember and copy how I do it. Imagine that you are doing a backflip. Keep in mind that you have to kick your left leg forward and up really hard. Bend your body backward a little bit with your right leg pushes your body up and kicks the ball. About setting up the t a c r o b ball, if we set it too far, it's gonna be hard for us to do the roll spike because it's hard to calculate, and our body won't rotate as good as it should. But if we set it close to us, we will be doing the roll spike nicely. What I mean by nicely is our body will be rotating and hanging down, and the t a c r o b ball will fall deep. After you practice on the soft ground and feel very confident, then you should move to practice on a hard ground. You will feel right away that you can jump higher, and there won't be any slippery when you land. At first, you might feel some pain on your hands, but if you keep practicing, your hands will become rougher, and you won't feel much pain. If we are afraid and not sure, we will end up like this. I would suggest you guys to go ahead and complete the roll spike. Let the t a c r o ball fall and try it again next time. Like I said earlier. It's okay if you don't hit the ball. Just complete the rotation. I see many people using sound or voice to help them do the roll spike. Sometimes we are afraid to do the roll spike, and using sound will help us block out our fear. As you might notice, I don't kick really hard, and that's because I haven't played it for months now. I just started playing again today. When you practice, I would suggest you to practice until you are tired or until your body is sore, and then take a long break until your body is recovered. Then come back to practice. If you keep doing this, you will feel that your body recovers faster and faster. Take a break for one or two days, and the pain will just go away. At that point, it means that your body is fit. Like if you practice until you're sore today and wake up tomorrow feeling just fine, that means you are really fit. It is normal that if we practice until we're sore, we won't be able to do any more roll spike on that day. And like I said, you have to take a long break. It could be a couple of days or weeks, depending on where you're at. You will feel that you have a lot of energy when you come back to practice. And that would be it, guys, for this video. I hope you enjoy it and find this helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. สวัสดีครับ